Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the most important levels that one really has to be aware of here on the Bitcoin chart and I'll also be going over some very nice Fibonacci trades and how I am currently trading this right now so I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video where I want to start off with before I get onto the technicals just the importance right now of remove your emotions from the chart okay so for an example maybe you're in a long position and now you're just praying for this to go up okay or if you missed the boat and you didn't unfortunately buy any down here and you're now praying for it to go down, um, that's obviously never going to work. If you're emotionally trading this from what you want to happen, stop right now. Just stop trading uh, because technically this chart is absolutely perfect. Like The, the technical levels on this chart are, are amazing to be trading off of. Okay, So if you can remove that emotion and trade what the chart's giving you, uh, you could be making money literally right now because it's, it's very, very, very good. Okay, So let me show you some examples here of what we've got. Okay, so firstly, massive impulse to the upside, which I've, if you know much about harmonics, I'm looking, I originally had this as a shark pattern, okay, shark then goes into a 5-0 harmonic, okay, so what's the 5-0 harmonic, okay, you want to see the 50, you know, 0.5 Fibonacci hold for a long, okay, so then you see here from the low up to the high, look what happened, absolutely perfection, if you're trading a 5-0, you come down to the 5, you know, the 0.5 Fib and, and look at the reaction from it, okay, so from that reaction, obviously you're, you're looking to trade that bullish. I really want, would, would hope that you were looking to trade that bullishly anyway. I was, and what we saw was a, a brilliant reaction to the upside. Any surprise at all where we got rejected here? The 618 to the absolute dollar, just Fibonacci masterclass, like literally 618 to the dollar. And this is one which I was trading on live streams. Obviously, on Sunday nights in the champion stream, I do live trading. And this is one that I was live trading. Okay, this channel. Okay, and we were sat around here during the live stream, and I was and I had the very, very much uh, the way I was trading it was for a drop down to the low of the channel, but ultimately coming back up to the top of the channel, hitting that 618, and that would be our decision point. And you can see, well, I guess you can't see if you weren't in the live stream, but my predi prediction while we were here played out pretty perfectly. We came down, we tested the weekly, we came back up to the 618, and there we obviously come down to the low of the channel, losing and eventually coming back down to our monthly. So this section of the chart was was so technically perfect and then it continues it does really that do, really does continue here i hope that you can take something from this video this is not bragging please do not comment on bragging this is literally just technical analysis at its finest in my opinion and what you can see here from the dollar of the 618 coming down to my monthly support okay this is where we obviously get the uh symmetrical triangle sort of meme what i like to refer to it as when when everybody's looking at a a um, pattern on Twitter, or it's just a pattern that, you know, Bob down the road can recognize. It's, it's not going to trade well. It's just not going to trade well. Uh, <laughs> generally speaking, obviously, I can't say 100% of the time, but generally, okay, this was obviously a very, very obvious symmetrical triangle that you had going on here. Obviously, the top trend line and the bottom trend line, obvious symmetrical triangle. And what did you get going into this? Let me zoom down. It was, it was just technically really well, okay, because also around here, I was saying to the group, what we have seen in the past is as you come up to the funding, which was uh, you had to be you had to pay to be in a short position right away. So as you come down to the funding, OK, people are naturally going to be closing out their short positions. So expect a dump going into the funding and then one minute after the funding is passed, expect a rise. OK, and that is exactly exactly what happened. So another great prediction, if I'm honest. OK, this was just before funding was being paid, which was at literally at eight o'clock to the dollar. OK, so eight o'clock to the dollar, eight o'clock to the minute. OK, that's where funding's paid. You see the dump down through funding, which also anybody trying to trade that symmetrical triangle is, is, is shorting, which I refer to as like retail newer traders are shorting that move down. Okay, smart money kind of buying it, in my opinion. And uh, so what you see is you, you see the drop down, okay? You know, newer traders are looking to short that and then you get the you, you get the squeeze straight away, okay? And that's obviously coinciding very, very nicely with the funding, okay? Which went which went down to 0 0.01 again, so more of a standard funding rate. Uh, and that obviously led straight to the rise, straight to the rise. Where did we get rejected in the end? The weekly, okay? And if you followed me on Twitter, I, this was one that I also gave you freely on Twitter, saying the importance of this weekly and the 382 level, okay? Th this really, really was the level for the bears to defend. A close above this, and I think we can get a very nice run going but obviously below it naturally uh you're not going to get a run going and, and what happened here okay i was actually getting going to sleep around here what we can see is in the end you you get you know that rejection from the weekly very clearly so now what's happening is we're range bound okay we're range bound 
that's as you know i love training rangers so it's, it's nice for me but essentially there's just so many people getting shook left out right and center you know every pump you see people turning extremely bullish every dump you see everyone extre turning extremely bearish it's just absolute crazy you need to stick to your plans um you know flip-flopping up and down up and down is, is not going to help you on the you know I'm, I'm talking about a medium term perspective obviously you can be day trading bullish bearish bullish bearish that's absolutely fine but if you're mid-term going oh here we go down down to 8k oh here we go up to 10k here we go down to you know it just doesn't work you're not going to make money uh so what you can see here then on a day trading perspective looking like we're breaking out of it now by the way but we're very very obviously range bound between the weekly okay and our my hourly level down here so that's resistance 9530 support 9025 and then our midpoint here at the monthly okay which coincides very nicely 9250 you can just see the you know how perfect these levels have been respected today as we, as we came down in this downwards channel okay so there were in my opinion i was trading this short today since i woke up the first position i took was a short made that you know made that obvious as well to everyone in my group also uh telling them i was in this short and you can see it's traded very nicely today to short if we're honest okay all we can see is a drop down okay to our monthly level bounce losing that and this was my entry the loss of the uh, monthly you can see here partial rise back into the monthly down back into the monthly that that's clearly was your resistance of, of for me the morning as i was waking up okay very nicely then the level where did we find support 9025 if you're interested in the trading updates that i give uh this is obviously i've just had so many questions about this the trading updates that i do are for players contenders and champions so all three level gets the the uh the updates by the way and this is just the update in the day okay so the first update that i give in the morning with for me the important levels what i'm looking to trade and how i'm looking to trade it that's given to all the levels in the morning for but for the active group chat where i'm actively saying oh this is what i'm trading now this is how i'm looking to trade it you know the active charts throughout the day that's champions okay so for me the active group chat uh, but the updates are given in the day and i gave daily support for me which would be the support to hold 9025 what did we do we dropped down to 9025 held it once for a bounce twice for a bounce three times for a bounce very nice indeed so that's clearly our support of the day 9025 which was highlighted by me in the morning and then what we see here is it's, it's, it's now range bound it looks like here on the five minute we are starting to break outside of this channel okay but for me it's, it's not overly uh, important and, and until until we really claim this monthly okay so on the short term we're range bound now between you know about a 200 you know 225 dollar range between 9025 not uh, 9250 okay so that's the range to trade for the moment if you break 9250 expect 9350 nine, about 9350 if you then close above 9 9530 sorry if you close above 9530 i'm expecting 10k about 10.2k more or less plus with that close, it's important you don't swing failure pattern. But if you get the close, you know, I'm looking for 10K. Obviously, if we if we close below 9K, so a close below 9K would lead you to a bearish opinion perspective on the chart where you're really going to be looking at, eight, eight, you know, about maybe around 8,600 regions. Uh, but that's for another video if we start closing below that. Uh, but yeah, that, that that's for the bearish side of things. But I, I you know, I'm holding on to uh, more of a bullish perspective while we maintain this hourly level. Obviously, a close below this, and I would naturally expect lower prices. But uh, yeah, today, you know, I'm not going to go through all these fibs here. But you yeah, know, these were trades that I've taken today with the group as well. And naturally, you can see the the Fibonacci levels here totally respected. Literally, we had about six trades in a row uh, where I was let's say right here's here's is the next fib and we were coming up to the fib to the dollar rejecting coming down to the next fib support and bouncing it was it was a crazy day uh <laughs> to be honest very very nice indeed but it's not the first time we've seen that um so yeah now you're obviously slightly breaking out of this channel but it doesn't really mean too much until you you can reclaim the monthly at the moment you're still clearly downtrending with lower highs and lower lows so you really need to reclaim 9250 uh to start getting for more of a bullish short term until then it's it's just heading downwards right now really looking at that monthly otherwise it's it's, it's naturally heading down but uh not to be bearish i wouldn't say include unless you close below that hourly but um yeah and until then you're literally range bound so don't don't hold this like what you want to happen trade the chart and and you know i've given you a few examples here of just what i've been trading today and also over the past few days it's, it's traded very very well um so yeah, that's that's why I wanted to mention there, and uh, you know, really exciting, I guess. Uh, if you're interested in learning how I do this um, tonight, I am doing a whole series on Fibonacci. So this includes the retracements, the extensions, the harmonics, uh, the arcs, the circles. You know, everything that you can think of to do with Fibonacci. And this being, you know, I would say that I'm 
you know, not to burn my own boat, but I would say I'm very good at trading fibs. You know, I've made a hell of a lot of money from Fibonacci. So if you want to learn uh, through from from myself of how I trade Fibonacci and, you know, my secrets that I would say to the how to trade Fibonacci that you're not going to see anywhere else, I can guarantee that you won't see it anywhere else. Um, then you can come along and join me in tonight's live stream uh, over at chartchampions.com. OK, um, obviously, link is below as well in the um in the description of, of the YouTube box, uh, where if, you, if you're interested, you can come along and join that live stream tonight. Um, where I will be starting with Fibonacci. If you, if you do miss the live stream tonight, just just so you're aware, you can always watch it back. OK, so, you know, if you miss the live stream, you can watch all of my live streams back and there must be hours upon hours and upon hours now of educational content there. But starting Fibs tonight. So uh, if you join me, I'll see you in the stream. If you if you miss the start time, then you can just watch it back tomorrow or the next day or the next day. <laughs> uh, so they're all recorded on the website. But um, yeah, that's that's pretty exciting because I truly, truly, truly believe uh, like this guy say, will it up my up, up his game? Like I truly, honestly believe that this is going to help you so, so, so much in trading. And that's not just because I want you to just join. It's because I truly, truly believe it will help you. Um you know, this is literally how I made so much money in trading. So, I mean, take that for what you will. I'm not, you know, I think you can see for yourself from from some of the things that I retweet, from comments from people, etc., etc., etc. Like, you just have to read through some of the comments from people that are actually already in the group to see what they kind of think of it and and how you can, you know, look to trade it all. Um, but yeah, that, that that's, that's that's enough for me. Just so you're aware that that live stream is tonight, and uh, I, you know, it'll be a pleasure to see you in that and, and help you uh, start making some money through trading. I guess. Uh, so thank you again once more on my behalf for joining me tonight and this support. Uh, if you want to watch back one of the old live streams, I obviously released that parallel channel whole live stream, so you can see for yourself, uh, you know, the sort of effort and content that you will be receiving. Uh, so make sure you watch that back if you haven't as well. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. Hope that you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you've definitely got a note of the hourly, monthly and weekly there. And, uh, you know, that's the range that will dictate the overall uh, bigger move that we'll be getting on Bitcoin. So very important that you're aware of those uh, because they literally are perfect. They literally, literally are perfect. These levels, you know, the respect that they're given. Um, so thank you so much, everybody. Uh, if you have enjoyed thoroughly, honestly, I would appreciate a like so much. That would be great if you want to give a like and if you're feeling even even more generous, a comment down below of how are you looking to trade this? Do you believe price is on its way to 8,000? OK, 8,000, 8,500, 8,800. Are you look, expecting lower levels or do you think this is the low here of the 0.5 fib and, and it's up from here? Uh, you know, 10,000, 11,000, 17,000. Uh, so what's your perspective? Are you bullish or bearish on this move? Uh, you know, leave a comment down below and I will be reading every comment. So uh, thank you so much and I will catch you in the next video here um cheers everybody thank you and good night bye